Hi, my name is Lisa Williams. I'm a tutor assessor IV for sports structures. Um, and here are the answers to my questions. So the first question is, tell a bit about myself. So I am a ex-player. Uh, I still pretend to play every now and again. Um, I'm a coach, I'm a mentor, I'm a sports lecturer at a college. Um, and I've been involved in the game since I was a junior, which is probably the safest way that I can ex say it without giving away how old I really am. Um, I developed a passion for basketball and it's the sport that I love. I watch it, I play, I coach it, I love imparting that knowledge to young people especially. And um, I love the way um, young people get when they get it. I, I love that um, and that's probably why I've been involved with it for so long probably why I've been involved in it for so long um, next question what two things do you think are important to succeed as a woman in the sport and acti activity sector oh gosh um, I probably would say uh, having confidence in yourself and in your knowledge um, if you're unsure of yourself you won't succeed um if you don't have the knowledge you won't succeed so those having confidence in both of those um are really important um i would also say thing i would also say um to keep learning is also very important um so that you can keep your knowledge up to speed but every day's a learning day you're going to learn something um i even when i'm tutoring on the course i tell the, the participants that the learners that I will learn from them. They will teach me something because you can discover something from somebody who you think has less knowledge than you. So um, every day is a learning day. So to keep learning, having confidence in yourself and in others. Is that too? I think it is. Um, I think I would also say um, know when to say no. Uh, I, I think sometimes you you take on board everything you try and do everything and sometimes you do have to say no to things just for your own sanity for one but um but just not to overload yourself or overwhelm yourself um it's not to say that you can't do it if you want to do it but there are times when you're saying yes just to be nice or whatever if you don't want to do it don't do it is what i would say uh question number three what are the challenges facing women today gosh that's quite a loaded question, isn't it? Um, there are a number of challenges, I think. Um, I think opportunities is, is a challenge because they aren't always as readily available. But on the flip side, you can create your own opportunities. If you're confident in what you want to do and you've got a plan and you really understand what it is that you want to do, um, and if there's no opportunities, create them, is what I would say. Um, the other thing... Uh, I would say that is a challenge is representation. There are not very many women involved in sport or involved in positions of power in sport. And sometimes those positions, you, you don't know that there's a woman in that position. Um, so I think representation, re representation matters. Um, for women, for all other, um, um, segments of the population, so for colour, um, religion. Um, I've worked with a group of Muslim women and I didn't realise how much representation really mattered until I kind of stepped outside of my sphere um, and looked at it from somebody else's point of view and was like, wow, it really does matter. Um, and so people that don't recognise that kind of, I find jarring because they're obviously represented so they don't understand why nobody else doesn't feel represented but it's really important as I, I think I've just said before sometimes you're tutored I, I'm tutoring a course and I'm the only female in the building um, so it's quite strange sometimes I get when I introduce myself as a tutor they're like oh and you can see that there's that oh I've had that when I've coached when um They've looked past me and said, oh, I was the coach here. I've been coaching a men's team. And I'm like, I am the coach. So representation does matter. It doesn't matter that I'm a, a female. I'm, I'm the coach. It doesn't matter that I'm a female. I'm the tutor. 
and we need to um, open up people's minds to the fact that it can be anybody um, and they shouldn't be bothered by that. Um, when I do cheer, like I said, sometimes there's there's no women and sometimes that makes me a little bit sad um, because I don't know whether or not that's because women feel that they can't be coaches or they don't think it's for them. Um, but why not? Why not? Okay, get off my soapbox. Right, question four. What's the best piece of advice you've been given? Um, a teacher at my school um, in the last week of school um, wrote in my, in my book, Unto Thyself Be True, which I didn't really understand at the time. But as I got older and wiser, supposedly, um, it started to make more sense to me that it's not about kind of following the crowd and doing what everybody else is doing, but to be true to yourself. Um, and so I try my best. I don't know if I always succeed, but I try my best to be as true to myself as possible and be my authentic self, as people say now. Um, and just be me. I just try to be Lisa, um, who can be very animated and passionate about things and get caught up in the moment. Um, and I try to do I try to do me as best I can. Um, and not in an arrogant way or a cocky way. I'm just Lisa. That's, so I think that's I think that's probably the best bit of advice I've ever been given. I think I would say that is. Um, final question. Whew, this is hard. Are there any women that inspire you and why? Oh, gosh. Um, I think you could go down the route of talking about the Serena Williams and yeah, Lisa Williams, Serena Williams, the DNA. Um, Maya Angelou, Michelle Obama, all of those kind of names you could throw out. But I think who ultimately inspire me are the women out there that are doing themselves they're doing what it is that they want to do they're passionate they're juggling the family the work the volunteering the, whatever else that they're trying to do their side hustle whatever they they want to do they're doing and I think those are people that inspire me um people that are coaching young kids I know um a female coach has set up her own business who's um doing what she does and she's doing it because she's passionate about it and she's doing it because she loves it. And it's someone like that that will inspire me. Um, they work hard and so I'm happy to support them in their endeavours um, and do whatever it is that they need to do. Um, and they're doing, and what they're doing is really good. And they believe in it, I believe in it because they're confident in it. So it works and that's somebody who I'm inspired by. Um, I've had coaches in the past that were then authentic self so much that people were like overwhelmed by it. But as a as a young player and as a young coach coming up, I would say that was that's that that experience has shaped how I was able to be my authentic self as a coach and be confident in my knowledge and be confident in my understanding of the rules and be confident to stand in a male-dominated world and be heard. So those those regular everyday women are the real women that inspire me. Um, women that stand in a, in, like I said, in a male environment and do them. Those are women that inspire me. And we need a few more of them. We need a few more of them. Um, that's it. My time is done. Thank you very much. I hope... Um, you enjoyed what I had to say. Hi, my name is Lisa Williams. I am a tutor assessor IV for sport structures. Um, and here are the answers to my questions.